All right, Keith, this is going to be the first video of your uh, your website tutorial, um, so you have an idea of uh, how to update and make changes to your site uh, once I'm finished. Uh, I only have a 15-minute limit for uh, for each video, so I might have to do like a three- or four-part series, um, but you should be good to go once, uh, once I get done with these. Uh, as I mentioned, I, I downloaded WordPress uh, and uploaded it to the back end of your iPage account. So that's basically what you're going to use to to make any changes from the back end of your website. Um, so you'll rarely ever use the you'll rarely ever have to log into the back of iPage uh, from here on out. Instead, what you'll want to do is go to the back end of your site through WordPress. And to do that, you type in your your site main uh, your main domain for your site and then forward slash wp admin. And I think all this information was emailed to you just so you have it. Uh, but once uh, once we do that, click enter, and you'll get to the login page. Uh, your username is admin, and your password, I went ahead and changed it to uh, your same password for iPage, because I thought that would make it a little bit easier for you, which is baking123 exclamation point. And we hit enter, and we're logged in. Uh, the next thing you'll, the next screen you'll press dashboard. Um, this is pretty much where you'll go to make any changes. It's kind of like the uh, the control panel for uh, for your website. Um, you'll see a bunch of different options on your left hand side and this is basically what you'll use to make changes to the site. Um, you're actually only probably going to use a few of these and those are the ones I'll go over. Uh, all the other ones you'll you'll never really use so I won't even uh, bore you with uh, with what that is or overload you with information you don't need. I'll just go over what uh, what you'll want to use to make changes to a, to a page or to a new blog or, or so forth. Um, so with that said, what I'll do is I'll start uh, with post and this is actually referring to a, a post, a blog post on your site. So if you go to the Keith's blog page on the front end of your site, uh, I kind of already created a, a blog post just to kind of get you started and I named it Cakes by Keith website launched. Um, so, when you go back to the dashboard post, that's kind of what that's referring to. So when you click on uh, all posts, it'll take you to a screen that, uh, you know, that was a sample and that I'm going to trash. It'll take you to a screen that uh, lists all your blogs. Since we've got one, um, you see that and that's the only thing you see. But once you get a bunch of different blogs, they'll all be listed on this screen. And if you want to make changes to an existing blog, uh, just view an existing blog from the back end or even delete a blog. Uh, just run your cursor over the, the blog title and you'll see uh, all these different little options um, up here. Let's just say we wanted to make a quick change to the Cakes by Keith website launch. Just go to edit there and it'll take you to a screen where the blog has been posted. Uh, and we can make changes to the content down here or if we wanted to rename the title we can make the, the change here. And then um, that is how we would make changes to an existing blog. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add a new blog, um, and that'll kind of answer your questions uh, as far as you know how to edit or, or anything as with blogging goes. So that said, what we'll do now is let's just go to add new, and I'll, I'll kind of create a sample blog so you see how it works. And from there, you should be all set up to start blogging um, yourself. So. We click on add new, it takes us to this blank screen, you'll see uh, enter title here and then a bunch of, blank, bunch of blank space down here which is where you'll want to add all your content. So for now let's just call this the uh, sample cake blog and down here is where we're going to add all of our content. Um, basically when you add the, the wording for, for whatever you, you've written. Uh, WordPress has a bunch of different features up here, and they've got one that has a, a paste from Word. What I usually do when I'm blogging with WordPress is I type my blog um, and what I want to say in Microsoft Word or like a, a you know a, a text program that has you know spell check, grammar check, all that good stuff, and then I just paste it using this tool. So if you click on that, you'll come to this screen, and you can paste all of your stuff. Uh, from Word here, so I have a bunch of dummy content saved, so I just pasted it, and then all I do is click insert, and it's automatically uploaded to, to your blog, um, which is really nice. So I suggest just doing the paste from Word. makes things a lot easier. That way you're not, you know, in here typing a bunch of stuff, and I don't, it's just a pain. I, this does have spell check and, and stuff like that, but... Um, you know, again, I just think it's a lot easier doing it from Word. So once your content is posted, uh, let's say we want to add a quick picture. To do that, 
all we do is just go up to this little icon right here that's if you're on your cursor over you'll see it says add media just click on that and you'll get a little pop-up screen you can either drag your files from your desktop or you can choose this little select files uh, option here if you click on that I have a bunch of your cake files already saved on my desktop so what I'll do is I'll just use this one as a, as a test so we'll wait for that to upload and once that is uploaded you'll see here you'll come to a screen um, title always uh, use the same uh, title for your alternate text there uh, you'll see a bunch of different uh, alignment options I usually keep the the image over to the left hand side on a blog uh, but it, it gets just a matter of personal preference here if you want it to be in the center if you want it to be on the right hand side of the blog you can do so here and just choose these different options um, but again, I usually just leave it at the left. Uh, medium, 203 by 300 pixels. That's a pretty good size for blog. I wouldn't really go much bigger than that. Um, the full size is huge. That would take up uh, three or four screens for the picture alone. So I think that'd be a little bit too big. Uh, and then from here, all we got to do is insert it into the post. And you can see the picture is now inserted. Now, you'll see that uh, the picture, there's no space between the content and the image. There's also no border around the image. To fix that, if we just click on the picture and go to this screen here, just click on Edit Image, and then click on Advanced Settings, you'll see three different options down here. For border, just type in one. Um, that is referring to uh, the thickness of the border. Uh, one to me is, is a good size, it's just a thin, clean black line. Um, if you type in a, a larger number, let's just say nine for example, you'll see it's a little bit thicker. So again, this is a matter of personal preference. If you want a real thick uh, border, just go with a higher number. If you want a real thin one, uh, one is probably the best way to go. And then vertical and horizontal space, that's referring to how much space is in between um, the content and your actual image. For this, I think nine is, is a good number. Um, and you can see as I as I type in nine, you'll see the uh, the space change, and and then once we have that done, just go ahead and go to update, and then you'll you'll have your space, and you'll have a nice border around your picture. Um, and from here, you'll see a bunch of different categories. I went ahead and added these categories. Um, I'll show you how to make a new category later on in a different tutorial, but for now, you know, I, I just added some just so you have some up there, but let's just say this was a blog about a new birthday cake uh, that you just baked for a client, so you could put all your blogs in different categories, and that helps when you have about, like, you know, a bunch of different blogs, let's just say you have 20 blogs, and um, all of them are different categories. If you want your, your viewers of your website to be able to see uh, if you go back to uh, your home page, you'll see all your categories down here. So let's just say I'm a, I'm a viewer of your website. I'm on your website right now. I'm trying to learn a little bit about uh, Cakes by Keith. And I see uh, you have a bunch of different uh, blog posts. If I'm interested in a birthday, in, what you, in your birthday cakes or having you do a birthday cake, and I want to learn more about uh, what you've done, let's just say I only want your blogs uh, about birthday cakes to come up. So if I click birthday cakes, Basically, when you have um, you know 20 or 30 blogs, only the ones that you've clicked uh, birthday cake category that will come up only in this screen. Um, so I will only click on birthday cakes for for your category, and then that's pretty much it for your featured image. Always set uh, the image if you go to gallery. Always set the image that you're using for that blog as your featured image. To do that, you'll come to this screen again. Use this featured image and go to save all changes and close out. Uh, it's not necessary to, to set a featured image for this page. I always do just for the sake of doing it um, with a lot of different themes. Uh, you know, it, there's some significance of setting a, uh, a featured image to each blog post, but for this one it really doesn't matter. But again, just do it out of, I just do it out of habit. And then once uh, that is up, we just go ahead and publish the blog. And that is up there. Now, if we go to Keith's blog, there's our new blog, our sample cake blog, birthday cakes. You'll see, since I chose birthday cakes as the category, 
you'll see the category pop up right there. Uh, under here, I chose every category uh, for this blog, and the reason I did that is just so you'd have all of those categories on your homepage show up. Uh, if I wouldn't have chosen all of uh, those categories for that first blog, you'd only have one or two categories here, and I just I want the point of doing it is I wanted to get all of them uh, kind of up there just to fill the screen. But again, there's the blog. And also, if you go back to the home page, let's just say, again, I'm, I'm a customer on your website and I just want to, I'm interested in the birthday cakes that you do. If I click on birthday cakes, now you'll see the two blogs that are about birthday cakes. Whereas if I went to your home page and I only, uh, or I clicked on wedding cakes, now you'll see only the one blog that has, uh, you know, the wedding cake category chosen. So... That is pretty much uh, blogging in a nutshell. Um, got about four minutes left on this video. I'll try and squeeze in categories. Let's just do, uh, if you click on categories here, this is where you'd add a new category to your blogs. Uh, pretty simple to add a new category. Let's just call this uh, the sample category. Click add new category. And it, you'll see it's there. And then if we refresh your home page, is it up there? Let's try and go to about cakes. Hmm, I don't see it. Uh Oh, you know why I don't see it? Because uh, a blog post hasn't. I haven't checked the uh, the sample category. So let's go back to uh, your post. Go to all posts, and let's go to the sample cake blog. Let's go to edit this blog. This is kind of a. This kind of worked out well. Now let's just say this is about birthday cakes, and it's about the sample category. Let's just click sample category, and then we click update. Now, when we go back to the front end of your site, you should see sample category. And then if I click on sample category, since I checked it, there, this, since this is the only blog with the sample category uh, category click, or checked, you'll see that comes up. So that's pretty much how to add a new category. Again, I just added these um, just to kind of get you started. But if you even wanted to edit some of the categories that, uh, that I've already laid out for you. All you'd have to do is go to sample category. Let's just say you don't want sample category. Let's just say you want it to be uh, luxury cake decoration update. Now that category has changed to uh, to sample to what? Luxury cake decoration. Um, so that's categories in a, in a nutshell. I'm, I'm glad I was able to fit that in. And that's pretty much all you'll need to know about blogging. Um, you know, again, if you have any questions about any of these videos, or if you're, uh, you know, you're stuck on how to do something down the road, you know, just shoot me an email, give me a call. You know, I'm always available to help. But this is more or less just to kind of help you understand um, how to make changes with your with your site. I think these videos will help you uh, kind of pick up on things a little bit easier than just me telling you how to do it. You know, in person or on the phone. Um, so that's kind of the point of this, but. That's blogging. I think uh, the next video, what I'll do is I'll go over pages, and pages is referring to uh, each of these pages, without with the exception of blogging. Contact Keeks by Keith, that's an example of a page. So the next video, I'll go over how to add a page, edit a page, uh, and so forth, and that'll get you going on pages. So stay tuned for video number two, and we'll get you going on pages.